way back when, when Melissa and Robert Goins took a young son named Ryan to this ballpark. It was called Arlington Stadium. And Robert, let me ask you this. What are your earliest memories of bringing Ryan here to watch ball games? Well, my earliest memories were when uh, I played at Dallas Baptist and I pitched. I pitched in a couple of playoff games, so I kind of got attached to the Rangers, and Ryan did too. And Ryan's always been a baseball fan, a uh, Rangers fan, and so we used to bring him to the games, and they'd be all over the place out here. And they had a, they had a blast, you know, and him and his older brother. Speaking of having a blast, Melissa, I'm talking to his teammates, and they say he's quite the prankster, quite the goofball in that clubhouse, but you have a different take. What was he like as a young boy? He was very quiet. All he ever wanted to do was play ball. Uh, that was his main thing, morning, noon, and night. He had a ball in, a ha ball in his hand, a glove, and a bat, and he did it from morning till night. And uh, he never pulled pranksters then, so I guess that's what happens when you go away from mom. <laughs> that's that's right, and we should introduce Ryan's niece, Isabella, here. Beautiful, beautiful member of the Goins family. Robert, before I let you guys go, at what point in his career did you realize my son may have what it takes to make it to the big leagues? Well, he could always catch and he could always throw a little bit, you know. I mean, during his sophomore year, between his sophomore and junior year, he grew five inches. And we started to realize, well, maybe we got something here, you know. And, and he, he was getting good. He was getting to be where he was pretty good about then. 